you can now create custom versions of ChatGPT that combine instructions, extra knowledge, and any combination of skills. Hey there, it is I versus AI, and today, November 6th, OpenAI is rolling out custom versions of ChatGPT that you can create for a specific purpose, and they're calling these GPTs. GPTs are like a new way for anyone to create a tailored version of ChatGPT to be more helpful in your daily life for specific tasks at work and at home. And the cool thing is that you can have a GPT for one aspect of your life, like work, or another for some question specific things that you might need. But how is this different from just plain old custom instructions? Like you can just fill those out telling ChatGPT how you want it to act or how you want it to do a specific task or a number of tasks. You can tell ChatGPT all about yourself. So why would you need more of that? Because like this Redditor so wisely said, you can create separate chats with their own custom instructions, kind of like a bot that has a mind for when I'm doing gaming versus a bot that has a mind for when I'm doing work related to my YouTube channel, for example. I found myself wishing that I had more than the 3000 characters that you have for custom instructions for certain specific tasks, like in my case, solo role playing. Here are some really cool examples from this Redditor. You could have a work bot, a DALI 3 bot, something that's really geared towards getting DALI 3 to output the images that you want. You could have a general question bot that's specific for answering in the way that you want the bot to answer. You could have a language learning bot and analysis bot, a travel bot, a cooking bot, whatever. OpenAI has created eight sample GPTs, Game Time, The Negotiator, The Creative Writing Coach, the tech support advisor, the laundry buddy, the sous chef, the sticker whiz, and the math mentor. I'd love to show you one of these bots. However, when I click on one, they are not currently available. They're rolling out over the next few days. Note that you will need a plus plan in order to use this and anyone can use their own GPT. No coding is required. This is a screenshot from Zapier's blog posted today, which shows the possible look of how you would configure a GPT. You have a name, a description, and the instructions. And my question is, how much can you put in the instructions? There is a new GPT-4 turbo model with a hundred 126,000 token context. That's a lot more than the current 8,000 token context that you get with GPT-4. So there's a lot more room to use with these GPTs. So how much can you put in that instruction box? I don't know, but as soon as I find out, I'll create a video and let you know as well. This screenshot shows a little bit more of what you can do with the configure section. On the left-hand side, there are conversation starters, which look like they show up in the preview section. Now there's going to be a GPT store, which is rolling out this month. That means that you'll be able to make GPTs and put them up on the store and make money from them. The store will feature creations by verified builders. It's unclear what process you'll need to go through to become verified as soon as I know I will let you know. But once in the store, the GPTs become searchable and may even climb as the most popular GPTs show up at the top. But the coolest thing about this is that you will be able to sell and make money from them. This is huge. Heading back to the preview here on the side, I can imagine that this would be what the viewer would see when they're deciding whether they want to purchase a GPT or not. Though it's currently unclear how much GPTs will cost. I'm guessing maybe a couple of dollars per GPT. The preview also shows me that you can publish this GPT for your own personal use, which is pretty cool. And just like a shared conversation, which I send out a lot of those shared chats with my videos when I'm explaining something and I'm showing you what's going on in the screen, I will also always give you the chat link so that you can drop that right into your window in ChatGPT. So it looks like you can do the same thing with anyone with a link. So of course, I will be sharing some GPTs with you here on the I versus AI channel. The other thing I see are these conversation starters and how they'll look to someone who is previewing your GPT perhaps on the store 
or before they install it with a link into their chat GPT. And that's a cool way to let people know what questions they can ask your bot to get a person started in using the bot. I also see that paperclip icon down there that shows me that you can upload files to your GPT. I'm looking forward to a GPT for DALI 3 that allows a custom prompt. I'd make one with a really cool look, a custom instruction to get the certain type of images that you want. And then you you could upload an image if this would indeed have the same GPT-4 vision access and OpenAI says that they have heard our feedback about how the model picker is a pain. Starting today, no more hopping between models. Everything you need is in one place. You can access DALI, browsing, data analysis without switching. It is unclear as to whether that also means vision so that you can finally upload an image to this DALI 3 GPT, have chat GPT completely describe the image and then have DALI 3 make that image in the style that the GPT is created. That would be really cool. I also wanted to show you what it looks like when you have these GPTs installed in your chat GPT window. On the left hand side, maybe at the top here, it would show the most recent GPTs that you use. Because in this screen, Reed Robinson, who's in charge of AI over at Zapier, is showing off the automation consultant GPT. There's also an edit button. So perhaps you can actually just go right in and edit your GPT as you learn to give it better instructions. Speaking of Zapier, it does look like you'll be able to bring these GPTs directly into your Zaps and Zapier. But it also brings up a question to me as to whether you'll be able to add other plugins from the plugin store that are currently available now, such as my favorite plugin, VoxScript, and use those as part of your GPT as well. If you can have a bot that you've given custom instructions to that can also pull information from VoxScript as well. And regarding privacy and safety, OpenAI specifies that when builders customize their own GPT with actions or knowledge, the builder can choose if user chats with that GPT can be used to improve and train our models. Builders will be able to verify their identities so you can build trust and perhaps follow a particular builder of GPTs that you like on the store and see the best stuff that they're coming out with. The most exciting thing about this news, about these GPTs in the GPT store for me, is that OpenAI is designing these GPTs so that more people can build with them. We can build together. Involving the community, according to OpenAI, is critical for their mission of building safe AGI that benefits humanity. So even though OpenAI starts out with these eight GPTs as an example to get our creative juices flowing, they state right here in this blog post, the best GPTs will be invented by the community by you. So my question is, what GPTs are you going to build? Because for me, it is definitely going to be a DALI 3 GPT. I love DALI 3, especially since I have now learned how to work with it by pulling its system prompt, which I break down for you as well as how to get consistent characters using the seed parameter in this video on screen right now.